Hi there, it's JC at Motorcycle Superstore and welcome to our Women's Holiday Gift Guide. I'm going to show you several products today that give you an idea of what lady riders in your life might be interested in. Now if you're not seeing what you like and what we have is predominantly gear oriented for this video, then you can check out the entire Women's Holiday Gift Guide. That's going to have more products and they'll be listed by price so it's very easy to shop from. Let's jump right into this and let you get on with the rest of your holiday shopping. This is Scorpion's Nip Tuck 2 jacket. Now the reason I've selected this is because it's a perennial favorite for our customers at Motorcycle Superstore. It's not actually a wintertime jacket, it's more of a spring, summer, fall jacket, but what you'll find here are vented panels throughout. The white sections here are gonna allow lots of airflow, but it can be used once it's a little cooler outside because it has an interior liner. The liner is just a wind stopper. It's gonna give you a little bit better coverage, but check out the exterior construction. This is all 600 denier material. It's a very lightweight jacket, so it's easy to wear. Melody has actually worn one of these herself. She She's pretty happy with it. So it's a cool looking jacket. And one of the reasons why it's so popular is because of the great styling. You notice all the nice colors here. It's available in a couple different colors, but check out the embroidery here on the side. Also, as we go to the back, you'll see it down the spine as well. Now underneath the jacket, it has CE approved armor. Those are located in the, in the shoulder and elbows, but on the back, you're gonna have a foam pad insert as well. So some decent coverage there. Now, one of the critical things about this jacket is the way it's going to fit. On each side you'll find these lacing systems and the nice thing about this is it will suck this in and be a very tailored fit and it's going to be very customizable. It's not just one little zipper, you actually can cinch it down the entire way. So that's very handy to have. Also obviously it gives you great aesthetics with the color boost as well. Nice pockets here on the front, pretty straightforward. On the inside of the jacket you'll find a little bit more storage and that liner like we mentioned. Check out the collar. It's an exposed neck, comfortable to wear and on the back you'll find a neoprene lining for additional comfort there as well. There's a matching pant for this. It does have loops to attach to a pant as well. What you're seeing on Melody now are not those same pants. These are actually from Icon. They're called the Women's Hella Pants. And this is a denim jean. So it's one of those things you can wear around, go to work, and you don't have to take it off once you're there. So it's very casual styling. Now, it is a motorcycle jean, so it's been reinforced. You're gonna find aramid fibers stitched in on the knees. You can see those stitchings here. Uh, there is nothing on the seat of the pants, so it's a very lightweight type uh, jean, but I will make one note about the fit as well. It's very oversized, so if you're considering ordering these, you might want to go down a size, check out some reviews online and see how that fits, but these are great options for people who want a casual style motorcycle gear. Speaking of motorcycle gear, let's check out some more riding apparel right now with helmets and footwear. These are the Joe Rocket Women's Clio Gloves, and the reason I've selected these is because of their construction. So even though it's winter time now, Keep in mind that as we get back into the spring months and the riding season picks up, items like these are going to be very, very popular. Now, this glove is actually kind of a decent uh, glove to find for multiple season use because it has a nice leather construction, but it also allows for some mesh material, so there will be some airflow coming through. Definitely not a wintertime glove, but check out the rest of it. You're going to find leather accents on the top of the hand as well for protection, for protection but on the bottom side here, all leather for the palm. You're going to find reinforcements as well, nice stitching, and the other thing about this glove is that it does not have any hard protection, so it's going to be very comfortable to wear for longer riding periods or short riding periods for that matter as well. So soft pads on the palm, you'll find them insert on the thumb, also on all the fingers. So check out these pads on the knuckles. Across the top of the hand here, again, foam inserts, not hard protection. So these are available in different colors as well, but a real good glove to wear in lots of different types of street riding situations. Now let's take a look at some footwear. Since we're talking about Joe Rocket, we'll start over here with the Heartbreaker boots. These are also a Joe Rocket product. Now, something to note about these, the reason I like these and wanted to select them for the video is because they serve a very nice purpose, or dual purpose rather, of form and function. These have a dirty little secret, that's one of their slick marketing gigs, and I like it very much because on the inside of this boot, you'll find a two and a half inch lift here at the back side of the heel. What that does is it allows ladies who typically have shorter inseams to be able to get the boot flat on the ground and still have full pressure from their foot going down. I really, really like that feature. On top of that, it's also a great looking boot. It's very subdued in terms of its styling, but it's still very clean. You're gonna find laser etching here at the top. Also, you'll find these buckles for styling on the side of the boot and the Velcro on the back, which is actually for your entry point. This is gonna help cinch down the top. There's an expansion panel on the back and you'll find Velcro and a side entry zipper that goes all the way down. Very easy to get on and off. It has the internal features. It's got the great grippy sole, one of my favorite pairs of boots just in terms of all that it has to offer. 
On the other side of the footwear spectrum, instead of the tall boot, let's go to something a little bit sportier and shorter. This is the Alpine Star Stella Faster Shoe. One of the great things about this is just how lightweight this really is. So it's designed for a street type application, obviously, but definitely more urban and casual styling. So you're gonna find reflective materials up on the laces. Also, you do have a nice Velcro strap across the top to help keep those, those laces cinched down. One of the cool things about this faster shoe is that it's designed to be ridden in sport bike orientation. You'll see nice protection here on the outside and the inside of the ankles, but check out this high top configuration that dips down in the back. So as we ride our sport bikes, we typically have our feet canted this direction. That allows for lots of room for the back of your ankle to then reach out and be a more comfortable fit. Reflectives on the back, some cool colors here on the bottom as well, and it has this ablated sole, which is extremely grippy on your foot pegs. Really easy to wear, a great option for the ladies there. Okay, if we're protecting our feet, we need to definitely be protecting our heads. Two different helmets here. I'll start with this one over here. This is the Speed & Strength SS700. This particular graphic is called To The Nines and it obviously has some very feminine styling to it. The colorways here, very cool, but this is a polycarbonate outer shell. And notice the adjustable venting. A very angular style helmet on the back portion, particularly on the top. So great aesthetics there if that's what you're into. Adjustable visor system here, very easy to remove. Also, you're going to find the moisture wicking interior as well. So a comfortable helmet, also very easy on the price tag. Now over here, we're looking at the Icon Armada. This is the Volare graphic, and the reason I selected this one is because a lot of times I feel like ladies get pigeonholed into pinks and purples. The Volare is definitely available in a big old pink graphic package, but if you don't want to go that route, if you want more traditional stuff or something that's not as flashy, something that's not as gender specific, I guess, then this is a great option for that. Again, adjustable vents, but you can see the difference between the two. There's lots of styling on this. You'll see the spoiler out the back as well. Uh, adjustable vents on the brow, the chin bar, also the visor system, again, removable, and they use these cool little cowlings on the side to kind of hide that mechanism. Inside the helmet, I like this one. This is their moisture wicking fabric. It's very nice. It's called Hydra Dry material. It's extremely soft and comfortable. So really a lot going on for this helmet as well. That's it for the table. Let's take a look at a few more gear options before we wrap this up. This is a more casual option from Fox Racing, and this is called their Validate Sherpa Zip Up Hoodie. This is going to be an extremely cozy hoodie, one of those things that you can wear around the house or when you're out and about. The thing that I like most about it is the fact that it's very subdued in its styling, great colors, but check out some of the actual designs here. They have what they call their princess seams along the front and the back of the jacket. This is actually going to help tailor the fit a little bit. It's what gives it some of that shape. So really great option for ladies. Obviously, it wouldn't fit the men because of its design that way. Another thing that's awesome for ladies is the longer cuff down here at the base, and you're also going to find that on the bottoms of the sleeves. Now, one of the things that's great about this is they're adjustable now, so you can get them down to whatever length you like. It's very easy to wear. On the inside of the hoodie, it's extremely comfortable because it has this heavy duty fleece material, but that does not extend down the sleeve. So this is something that could be worn underneath a heavier jacket, and that's going to give you a bit more of a comfort option there, but still retain a lot of that heat. One more casual option here, this is from Climb, and I really, really like this jacket. This is called the Women's Whistler Jacket, and it's going to be a casual style, but also a great layering option. Climb is really good about offering different types of layer options. This is going to be one of those as well, but it's a wind stopper material. It's really good at protecting you from the elements in the sense that it's a little bit water resistant. It's not totally waterproof, but it will cut that wind down phenomenally. I used to have some wind stopper gloves from these guys and they work really, really well. Notice the color, notice the fantastic colors. It's obviously available in a couple different ones, but this is going to have some pockets here. Again, the nice feminine shape to it. And as we turn around, you get a look at the backside, very straightforward in terms of its styling. Not a whole lot going on except for those great vibrant colors. Extremely warm to wear. Uh, this is one of those things that you could put under your jacket like we mentioned and then wear it as you get off the bike and you're around town. So regardless if you're looking for base layers or just casual wear, check out this option from Klein. Thanks for checking out our holiday gift guide. Do take a look at the entire list that's available so you can see more products just like this. I know that the women in my life are super picky, so if none of this is working for you and none of the stuff on the list or the full list is working either, then consider the holiday gift cards. Those are very easy to do and it allows them to find the things that they really want. Thanks for watching, thanks for shopping at Motorcycle Superstore and have a safe and happy holiday season.